in Glasgow, a feud has been brewing for over a hundred years, and its roots are planted even deeper than that. It's of course the rivalry between two football teams, Rangers and Celtic, known as the Old Firm. The teams first met in the 1888 Glasgow Cup and have faced each other over 400 times since then. The Old Firm has had a huge impact on Scottish culture and has even been the subject of a novel, Divided City by Teresa Breslin, which focuses on the Rangers and Celtic divide within Glasgow. Although it might seem like just a sporting rivalry, the history of the Old Firm lies in religion. Rangers was founded in 1872 and Celtic slightly after in 1887. The 19th century saw the mass immigration of Irish people into Britain, particularly Scotland, in hope of a better life. Since Scotland was a Protestant country, the Irish Catholic immigrants were treated with hostility and so the city broke off into different communities. Celtic was founded by Irish Marist Brother Walfred to alleviate poverty in the east end of Glasgow, a mainly Catholic area. Almost in retaliation, Protestant Scots flocked to Rangers and it became their team. Throughout the generations, a strict Protestant Catholic divide has lessened, but still remains part of the team's identities. The differences between Rangers and Celtic fans seems to manifest through sectarianism. There has been many incidences of violence linked to the old firm, including the 1980 Hamden riot, the murder of a 16-year-old boy in 1999, and countless arrests for physical and verbal assault. In 2012, the Scottish Government brought in the Offensive Behaviour at Football Act to crack down on sectarian conduct at matches, like offensive songs, signs and violence. But the legislation may soon be repealed by MSPs as it's claimed to unfairly target football fans. In a society that's becoming less religious, in a world that's more connected, the divide between Rangers and Celtic fans is less static. But as the harsh lines between sides become blurred, the differences of the past remain ingrained. It seems like Rangers and Celtic will remain enemies until the bitter end, but maybe their fans will not.